Yeah, it's been another nice day and we've had some sunshine, but clouds also mixing in as well. Really, it's been the breeze. I think that we've all noticed between the last couple of days and today really picking up and that's what's ushering in this warmer air mass. Uh, we've seen wind gusts as high as 25, 30 miles per hour at some time. So yeah, certainly going to be another breezy one out there throughout the rest of the day today into the early morning hours of tomorrow before the cold front, which is starting to get a little bit of uh, representation here on the max track. You can see some rain showers, but also a little bit of snow out in the plains. Once it gets to us, it's warmer air, obviously, so it's going to come through as rain. But it is uh, still a few hours out, so we got to go all the way throughout this evening and then into the early morning hours before it starts to cross the Ohio River, but then moves through throughout the morning and early afternoon tomorrow, and then we're right back to sunshine. High pressure building in almost immediately after this front. So really, even by tomorrow evening, the sun will be down, but the clouds are already clearing out, making way for a nice start to the day on Friday, although the cold air pouring in at that point. So let's go ahead and look at the local future track. You see the cloud coverage out to the north and west. Here's a rain shower activity crossing the Ohio River right around 1 o'clock in the morning, making it to the bluegrass in bulk. Now this is the bulk of the front at this point by about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. So morning rush, uh, the morning commute, you will have to deal with some rain showers out there. But it wraps up very quickly by the late morning hours. We're already finished with the rain, at least in the bluegrass. We've got it scattering up out in our eastern counties at that point, and then by about four or five o'clock in the afternoon, it's finished, it's out of here. And look at the clearing, it's already starting to move in. So yes, very quick changes with this system that's coming through. Not a whole lot of rain, maybe about half of an inch up near the Ohio River counties, but everybody else, a few tenths of an inch, maybe up to about a quarter of an inch, three tenths of an inch at most for us. But the damage that will be done will be the cold air, 70 down to 43 by Friday, and then we're gonna stick below our normal even going into the weekend, trying to warm it up, but then another front will come through and dip us back down as we go into the uh, start of next week. By the way, Friday morning, once we've cleared all the clouds out, we have a spectacular view of the partial lunar eclipse that's coming up. It's gonna be a cold one, and it's four o'clock in the morning. So if you happen to be up and you wanna go out and look at it, make sure you bundle up for it. Only partial because 97% of the moon is going to move into the umbra, which is the hard shadow. Now, you're not actually going to see the shadow, obviously, but you will see that reddish hue that uh, starts to project onto the moon, and only 97% of the moon will actually cross into the shadow. Uh, but you will see it darken kind of before and after and then brighten up as we get into about 7 o'clock. Uh, but yeah, certainly that's going to be an, an interesting thing, a really cool thing to see early on Friday morning. Good news is we've got the clouds out of here, so you have perfect viewing opportunities. After that point, it's sunshine through Friday and Saturday. Temperatures warming up slightly. We'll be closer to our normal, but not quite there. And then dropping it back down after some rain showers come through on Sunday. That's another cold front. So we'll take the 50s back down to the 40s and those overnight lows getting back down below freezing in quite a bit. We should be getting pretty close to that 20 degree mark early on Tuesday. Hopefully we'll start to warm it up going into the middle of next week.